So my first campaign, um, my first campaign was, it was delightful. This one, I'm worried. I'm not worried about the outcome. We worked hard. We put all of our, you know, we put it all out on the field. But I'm worried of the communal divisiveness. I'm worried about um, the, the few individuals who sow discourse and disruption and toxicity for fun. I've been followed around. I've been stalked. My truck has been vandalized, windows busted out three times. My wife's car keyed up. Leave a note for my car, you'll never be mayor. Mike is not the problem. Senator Woodard is not my problem. It's the supporters. The last two years have been very dysfunctional. So for whatever the legacy of our current mayor may be, that's, that's whatever it may be. That's also not really my concern. My concern is getting Durham back to being a powerhouse economic center in the state. As I'm running the trail, uh, running for mayor, two things I hear often. I hear crime when our black boys, and I hear division on the council. How are you going to get this council back in order? That's what I hear most. After that, I hear, what are you going to do about crime and our young black boys? Because they are in trouble. And it's showing in school, it's showing in the streets, and it's showing on the news. One thing I can say for sure is you have to be willing to work with people. You have to be. That is a must. It is a mandate. You have to work with people. You can't be so caught up in your own views or your own way of thinking that you just, you're immovable. That's not how politics work. And politics is people work. And so if, so if there's someone that's just immovable, you know, not willing to, you know, compromise at all, then they're not fit for office. Mike does have a lot more political experience than I do. That's fine. I don't think people are looking for longevity of experience. I think they're looking for vision. I think they're looking for innovation. I think they're looking for fresh legs. I think they're looking for something new. They're not looking for things as this business as usual. Senator Woodard is really good at what he does in the state Senate. And I'm really good at what I do at the local level. I consider myself a progressive, <laughs> a real progressive, I'll say. Uh, sometimes, you know, the word progressive is actually used a bit loosely. The reality is cities grow, and they're going to grow whether we like it or not. We can leverage and be a part of this growth and lead it, or we can be victims of it. And so at the end of the day, I usually try to get more out of a project that we normally would not get. The record shows that. And I, and I support it because I understand the bigger picture.